I always, I hate doing this stuff because I don't know how to do it. I got, I got a mystery package from the deep web. I bought body parts on the deep web. I killed a man and put him in a box for a video. Uh, so what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And first of all, we're standing in a totally different room than I usually record in. And that's because of this sucker down here, okay? 10 seconds and you're already seeing what's going on. We got a mystery package coming in and I want to unbox it on camera. Now the story of how I actually acquired this mystery package, which we will soon open and realize exactly what the contents are, is crazy, okay? So my door knocked a couple of days ago and the mailman gave me a package. This, that's pretty much it. It just arrived at the door that way. Now, I don't actually know exactly what the contents of this are. That is serious, but I do know this is from Teclan. That's why I'm wearing the Dying Light 2 hat. So first of all, big shout out to Teclan for even handing me this thing before the game is out and just being able to show you guys something cool. Sherry is the one who hooked me up. He's a great PR. Okay, Teclan, you need to pay him double, but we're pretty much going to do this. As said before, I chopped open the top and you can already see like this is ridiculous. Get in here, cameraman, right now. Look, if I just remove this one here, biohazard. Like, guys, what have they sent me? But yeah, I, d I don't know what's in here. I'm actually hoping for a dead corpse of a zombie. <laughs> just looking at the top of this box, man, like, I knew immediately, rather than trying to, like, record a video or just put some pictures online, I wanted to try and record this because this looks like a legit experience opening this thing up, okay? First thing we see, a Dying Light 2 branded crowbar. Did you see that? What? The game is making hardware tools, guys. That's that's what this game has gotten to now. I am extremely grateful, though, for Techland uh, just sending me this thing ahead of the release of Dying Light 2, which, you know, I'm definitely playing on the channel, guys. I think there was only one of 25 of these created. So this is a very, very special put-together box and very limited. So, like, let's get going with this. I mean, it's not fake wood. You know when they say touch wood? I just did it. Get out of here, guys. Get the freak out of here. You know, I probably should have, like took this out before oh no we're seeing a big red flag already you need to get closer with this thing if you know dying light law we're seeing a very familiar three letter logo right here the gre gre though global relief effort so if that's any hint like that would be kind of sick if this is a legit hint towards like in dying light 2 maybe the same company is still up to the same bull crap and that's how we got in this mess so bad start to begin with we already know this company was shady as heck so i hope they're not doing it in the second one too this box guys is 25 kilograms so let's just do a quick fast forward montage of me trying to get this out now, techland it would have been great to you know put some handles on the side of this thing not just on the top you know <laughs> can't really get the grip on this thing i can't i can't do it so um i guess we can't do the unboxing after all guys despite my best efforts this is uh this is truly sealed away and locked for good so um i'm sorry for disappointing guys wait they did put handles on the side so i'm not i'm just not very clever <laughs> Oh my gosh, can we can we get this off? Okay, this is actually insane though. Ugh, ugh. I think I just broke the microphone. This is actually crazy though. This is insane. Let me just rotate this round. Look at this, man. Like the craftsmanship that's gone into this is just wild. You can tell they spent time to think about how to put this together. This is so unique. What an awesome thing. How do I actually like... Because this is legit sealed down, man. Hold up. Do I actually have to go ham on this with like a hammer or something? Oh no, I can just do this. Well... That solved that problem. Okay, we've got two flaps on the front. We can see them there, coded red. You ready to see what sort of relief packages these guys are dropping nowadays on citizens? Let's do it. This is crazy, man. I'm actually like super excited to just open this thing up and see though. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You might want to get like top down. Wait, hold on. Did they, did they actually want me to use the crowbar on this? Hang on. These are, these guys, these are loose. They actually want me to get the crowbar in on this. Uh, this is, this is gonna be ridiculous then. You know what's not gonna be good? Like, when the trash collection comes and then the neighbors see like, oh my god, look, he's dealing with GRE, so he's corrupt too, you know? Gonna get mobs outside my house trying to kill me. Thanks, Techland. This is actually nuts. Like, this is a legit crowbar, man, so I... <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually insane. We have like an interactive experience here to get to the goods. What? Do, am I supposed to do this? Like, they nailed it in. They, look at this. Look, get closer. Look at this. This is legit... They put that in place for me to do the handy. Guys, come on, man. I just want to sit in front of a camera and do no work to make videos. What are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? Guys, that was, uh, that was a lot of effort. I get why builders struggle with this thing so much, but we did it. Using the crowbar and one simple swift move. Wait, should I, I should just be a builder, shouldn't I? Why am I, why am I a YouTuber? Here we go. We're opening the GRE box. This is actually going to be so cool. Here we go. What? Oh my gosh, wait, hang on a minute. Look at this on the top here. Hello, Survivor. You will soon be taking your first steps into the city, so I've prepared a GRE loot crate to help you on your journey. Full of valuable items to improve your chance of survival in the modern dark ages. All right, all right, so let's ignore that for now. This is the goods, though. Look how they've layered this thing. This is crazy, man. <clears throat> what on earth? This is insane. 
Dude, they gave me an axe for the apocalypse, which is coming in like three months in real life. So we got some gloves here. We got some legit dying light gloves. You see this? Look at that. Two of these things coated in a nice thick layer of blood. Someone's obviously been using these things for the right reasons. We have a little mask over here too. What? This is an actual mask protector too. This is really cool. Look at that. So I can straight out like, do I look good? Okay. Most importantly though, look at this. Ah, an actual hatchet, man. I reckon I could kill someone like... Does that sound good? Hang on, listen. Am I good? Am I scary? That's literally the top player as well. That's what we get greeted with. That, first of all, is crazy. Caution, guys. Caution. GRE coming in. Don't touch my stuff else. I'll kill you. Okay, let's get this thing out nice and carefully now. Here we go. Holy crap. This is wild. What the? Look at this! We got like a, this is like a crazy collectible version. The collector's edition. We got a dying light pin. You can put that on your shirt, put it on your trousers, whatever you want. And look at this. We have the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. Look at the condition of this thing. Trashed. You know, that's actually great because then when I keep it in bad condition, I can just sell it as like, oh, aesthetics, crazy cool. This is a full notebook, guys. At Greetings Pilgrim, you found my guide. That probably means I'm already dead. Well. Good. Actually, he's probably a good guy. That's probably a bad thing to say. Look at all this stuff, though. This is, like, filled with legit notes and stuff like that. The city, once known as Valedor, is one of the few, perhaps the only large human settlements to have survived the Haran virus pandemic. So, this is actually going after the Haran. There's lots of ties into that, which is cool. There's people down there. Look, it's my family. Look at that. Thanks for the inclusion, Techland. I appreciate that. Got yourself a nice set of decal stickers so you can stick that down. We have a sick Dying Light 2 backpack as well, like a little duffel bag type thing. So, there you go. You want to store your supplies, you know, you pick up a few components on your rounds, build up some electronics. This is how you do it, okay? And then, most importantly, we have this, the collector's edition so i'm gonna nerd out this is about to be insane yes yes guys look at it the collector's edition this is what it's all about right here all right guys we're gonna tuck in now to see what's in this box this as said before is the collector's edition so this is just gonna be wild even more crazy good stuff first of all we oh that we have a hand little Hold up, let's see what they're saying about me. They're saying nice things. Once we had called off after the release of Dying Light, when we all got together and spoke seriously for the first time about making a sequel, we were of one mind, the safe. More of the same in a better package, option absolutely would not satisfy us. So yeah, I'm glad they went that route straight up. I was hoping it would just be the same experience but just expanded upon. So Techland, you knew what to do, you did it right. Second of all, oof, okay. Flashlight, or should I say UV protector? Hang on. Oh, it doesn't work. Maybe I need batteries. And it looks like we get some kind of collector's edition of the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so sick. So we got the survivor on the front. Well, you, you want to say survivor. Those eyes are a bit like, you know, they're concerning. And on the back, there he is, the volatile himself. Look at that as well. You can see the veins and stuff. And we flick between that. Very fancy, very fancy. I see you, volatile. Looking good. We have this underneath as well. There's another little thing in here. What is that? It's a map of the city, I believe. I tried to mark as many useful places as I could. It's getting tough, tougher each day. So this might actually be for legit collectibles. You can see Jerry Hospital, Jerry Laboratory, another lab, Bazaar. We've got the big windmill, so there's lots of crazy stuff on here. Don't go there, by the way, guys, unless, of course, you want to get taken out by bandits. All right, guys, we trimmed around the edge here, so now we get to see potentially what the goodies are inside. We want to be careful with this, so I don't want to break nothing. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's broken. Holy crap, man. Let's take this out nice and gently because this, this is something, man. This is the statue you can see. Holy crap, this looks amazing. Look at that. You can see Aiden at the top. Guys, look, he's fighting a Volatile with the same weapon I got in my thing. Look at that Volatile. Look, they're fighting over the Silica Gel. This is crazy. Do not eat. I think the Volatile is trying to eat it. Aiden's trying to protect him. Who's this poor lady here, though? Look, she's like shackled up to this light switch. You know... All Aiden needs to do is get that light on. You can see he's got the power going around. This is a UV light that will blast this guy's face and he will not like that. Oh my gosh, hold up. It has a battery slot. You could... Oh, yeah, you have to... We have to power this. We have to power this. Oh my god, that's so cool. Look at the chest. Look at that. That's so sick. What? Like, as the UV is melting him, obviously he's, like, being affected by the pain, just like in the first game. That is so cool, man. That is absolutely awesome. So, look, you press the sewage. Look at this. You press the drain. The drain is the activation. How genius is that? Look at Aiden. Look, no wonder he's feeling so good about himself. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything that Teclan has sent my way. I am extremely grateful for just being able to receive a package like this. Like, I was such a big fan of the, the first Dying Light. They've sent me, like, literal exclusive weapons that I can actually go out and take someone that tries to 
come to my house with like this is so cool but yeah this was sick man i'm super excited as well for dying light 2 so just seeing the effort that the company went to for this i knew i had to just throw a video together opening this no disappointment on mind at all really excited for the game and you'll be seeing the full playthrough obviously on the channel that's going to be it for this one though guys a bit of a different video but just wanted to unbox this thing crazy as said before i've said that word like so many times in this thing because it's the only way i can explain this i'm just extremely grateful but yeah that's pretty much it guys hopefully you did enjoy this unboxing and uh yeah See, see you late, see you soon. You still haven't left? Is this gonna make you leave? Sorry guys, hopefully you're not bleeding. Um, if you are though, patch that up quick time. See you later. <laughs>